Yeah, sure. Uh, Carla, congratulations on your test debut. Can you just talk to us about how it was taking the field and, you know, you got through a fair amount of work in, what, 60-odd minutes that you played? Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, no, it was awesome. I was just speaking to slips before and, you know, it's... Um, it is a big step up, but you know I loved every minute of it, and um, you know the boys really uh, helped me out throughout the um, throughout the week. You know, it didn't feel like um, I was out of place as well, which was good, and that's credit to the lads and the coaching staff as well for you know uh, making the week so seamless. And you know you're coming up against you know, say Khaleesi, pretty much your opposite number, despite the jersey difference. Yeah, what, what, what did you find the biggest difference? was with with the box and taking them on and adjusting to test footy i just thought the um the set piece you know like you could really feel the the power in their scrum and um you know in their in their malls as well but at the same time i feel like we we also did a um you know at, in moments when we also did a good job at um you know containing that so it's just for us like being more consistent um going to this week because you know they're the best in the world and that was a good benchmark for us to um, compare ourselves to the best. So, do you feel like um, off the back of a week and, and playing, and do you feel like you're in a better position to attack this week? And obviously, it's a pretty significant one given it's uh, a home test for you as well. Yeah, no, really excited. Um, Optus Stadium is an un- unbelievable stadium. Um, it's right in the water there, and uh, I think uh, we're definitely gonna we're gonna have a good review today, which we already had with our forwards and. Um, you know, we're going to attack this week. Like, we're really excited for it and um, we're up for the challenge. You know, they're, they're the best in the world and we want to be the best in the world. So, um, what better than to verse, you know? Not often you get a verse the same team two weeks in a row as well. So, we can make the adjustments and go from there. No, we're really keen. It's coming on for the, getting your debut against, you know, back to back World Cup champions, the best in the world right now. Does that just give you an occasion of, right, this is where my game is, but this is just how far I've got to take it if I want to be here and make myself a, you know, worldly for years to come? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said before, they're the best. So, um, you know, again, that comparison to what the best looks like, um, it's awesome. And, you know, to be honest, I've been really lucky training, um, training with and being teammates with Hoops for a couple of years as well. So, I've always had that, um, you know, had that benchmark there as well. So uh, it's good to, you know, be a part of it and be in this uh, arena now. And just, I just want to keep ripping in. You know, it was only, only sort of 18 months ago you were over in sort of early and sort of playing that sort of that second tier English rugby. Do you, have you sort of had a chance to sort of reflect and be like, to just sort of think of that journey of how you've now come back and can, you know, return home and call yourself a worldie? Yeah, you know, it's been, um, it's been a roller coaster as everyone all footy players know that it's um, it's a roller coaster of a journey, and to be back at home and you know to be playing in front of potentially playing in front of um, you know home crowd as well, that'll be it's going to be unreal. Just just can't wait. I think a test at Optus Stadium as well is just exactly what uh, rugby in WA needs. Um, it just keeps raising awareness about the game, and uh, we're growing. You know we're a growing um, sport here in WA, so it's really good. And, my journey as well. It's just, it's yeah, it's been a roller coaster. So, it just slips to bring you in and sort of another, another debut on the bench. And Luke Reimer was showing us photos after the game of him and you as a fan 13 years ago in the stand, <laughs> getting a sort of chance to recreate that photo. Like, what does that mean when you see these guys that have idolised you now coming through the pathways where it was Brumbies now sort of taking the field as Wallabies and making making impact? Oh, it's awesome to see. Um, yeah, that's kind of happening to me a bit more than than I'd like. Um, yeah, you know, I, I made a comment earlier today that I'm starting to get coached by players I played with. Um, but yeah, you know, on Luke Ramo, it was it was just a good moment for him. Um, someone who's really, really supported the Wallabies, grew up watching the game. Um, you know, a true rugby man, and to see him run out there and put on the jersey for the first time, uh, yeah, it was really special. And I've got to know Luke throughout my time at the Brumbies, and he's a good man. And um, yeah, I'm just really proud for him and his family. You talk about that experience that you've sort of faced Springboks teams across the sort of years. In terms of this one that you faced on Saturday, like how can you sort of rate it? How does it compare to the past? And does it have claims of being the best Springboks side we've seen in the twenty first century? Oh, it's well, it's a it's a good question. Like I guess going off results, they've won two World Cups, so it's hard to hard to argue with the results. But 
um, you know, there's been some great South African teams in the past and, and I'm sure this one's right up at the top of that ladder. So, um, look, we found out on the weekend that we're up against the best and, you know, it's probably safe to say they're, they're, they're a quality team. Just on yep. that sort of, what's come out of that review that I'm sure you've done sort of just from that game about those opportunities that might have just been there to really take it to them and the sort of what those non-negotiables you need to do to make sure that you can flip the result on Saturday? Oh, I think so far it's been, it's been, I'd say a pretty disappointing review from, from the players' behalf. Um, you know, we look at the, the game plan itself and, you know, it was probably not, um, executed well enough by the players going into the game and I think we created a lot of, a lot of opportunities where we didn't actually take them um, and then on top of that the South Africans are that good that when you don't take any opportunities uh, you give them the ball and they're a powerful team so they're going to get points um, at some stage of the game and what we saw was um, we kind of missed the jump there in the first half and we were under a lot of pressure going into half time so um, yeah, you know, we we still got a fair bit to look at throughout the game, but you know, I th you know, from my belief is uh, we had the game plan there. We just probably didn't execute it as well as we'd like. James, in terms of the sort of development of, of this sort of Wallaby squad, was it uh, um, in terms of a you know like a what's the name a um, sorry a step up from the other three tests last month? Was it um, was it a big step up or or not as big as what you know what what sort of you know you know, you sort of, you know, might have thought? Uh, we, well, we knew it was going to be a step up. Obviously, Wales and Georgia, they were really good tests for us at, at that point in time. Um, and look, they're not bad teams either. Like they, they put us under pressure and um, they probably haven't got the results they've liked either. But, you know, they're quality, quality, quality players. So um, we'll challenge there in the July test. But we knew coming into, obviously, the Rugby Championship, we're up against a two-time World Cup winning team. Um, the results speak for themselves. It's it's going to be a step up naturally. Um, they've got some big bodies, some really experienced players, and um, we found out on the weekend what the benchmark is in Australian, well, in in world rugby. And um, the beauty of it is, and Carlo mentioned it, we get to play them again. So um, we'll review, we'll see where we can get better, and it's about just being consistent in that game plan. And just on Carlo, what did you make of his first uh, appearance? For me, yeah. Yeah, I thought he was great. Uh, he came in and Carlo's one of those players who, who uh, plays with a lot of confidence. So uh, he had a great year at the force this year and you know, he fitted in really seamlessly in the squad. And uh, one thing you know about Carlo, he's going to put his body on the line for the team. So that's all we ask when you put the jersey on is you do your best. And he did that. Um, and yeah, excited to see what the future holds for him. Hey, Carla, um, uh, you know, debutants, it's not like you you haven't been eased into it, have you? You know, you've been thrown into the deepest of ends against South Africa. As a debutant, as someone who's watched on for a long time, what, what's it like now then trying to reverse a result like that? Because I imagine even though you're so honoured by getting that Wallabies jersey, I, I imagine there's a fair amount of you that sits back and goes, play you, I want to win the next one. Yeah, um, I... To be honest, I really love that I got just thrown straight in the deep end against the best in the world. I think that's an awesome way to test how all the hard work you've been putting in over all these years since you're a kid, see where you kind of um, can put yourself. And um, obviously, after the weekend, it was like a bittersweet, you know. I was, I was absolutely gutted because, you know, winning is everything. Um, so to, you know, lose in front of that massive... Um, home crowd was t was a tough one, and especially on all the players. You know, the, in the sheds, we were pretty, um, you know, we we're pretty upset about that, and and as you would be. Uh, so, you know, for this week to be able to, you know, put put forward a good performance, we can really be proud of um, at Optus Stadium in front of our, you know, especially for me in front in front of the uh, Perth local fans. That'll be uh, something uh, you know I'll remember forever. So, um, yeah, especially being a part of this group as well. And Slips, you just mentioned about watching on the tactics of the, the execution, not quite measuring up to the tactics. Watching on from the sidelines, from our perspective, it seemed like the, the kicking, particularly from nine in the attacking kicks, weren't quite going to plan. Just to bring you know the, the public into this, was that very much against 
the plan about kicking the ball away as easily and watching on from your perspective, how was it kind of seeing that unfold? Well, yeah, it comes back to what I said earlier. We're like the, the game plan was set. Um, just the accuracy around delivering that game plan wasn't, wasn't, um, you know, our performance in that wasn't great. So, you know, we don't want to see kicks uncontested. Uh, we want to see them hit grass and, you know, it's not just the kicking, it was the set piece as well. It was the way we were tackling. Um, our inner inability to, you know, win the collision at times really hurt us as well. So, um, you know, I guess the kicking aside, there's plenty of areas to the game that we just didn't, or we, we were trying to, we just weren't accurate in, in um, delivering. So what we, what we know is if we get certain areas of the game right, we can create a lot of opportunities and we've seen that in the review. Um, but we know we we know we're going to have to be good this week. Like it's 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 a fine margin in Test rugby where you don't where you're not as accurate as you want to be and you get punished. And that's what that's what happened to us on the weekend. And you know everyone sitting at home probably saw that as well. So uh, we're going to have to be better. We're going to have to be good to to get a performance that wins. And, and Argentina flipping like the scripts and blowing away uh, New Zealand on the weekend. Does kind of results like that at times show that? Quickly, results can change, and can you even draw any confidence from that? Oh, it was a big game, wasn't it? It's, um, the the ABs are pretty hard to beat in New Zealand, and the Argentinians managed to do that. So, full credit to the, to them. Um, oh, one thing in rugby is you, you know one week's performance can easily be turned around, um, and luckily Carlo said it like we get to play the same team twice in a row in this competition. So it's uh, the ability for us to to change the performance is easier in that circumstance but um, at the end of the day you've just got to perform on the day when the pressure's on um, no matter where you're playing home or away these all these teams will put you under pressure and it's how you deal with that and, and it was the physicality that kind of stood out watching Argentina play but is that the area that should be the non-negotiable for the Wallabies that physically you guys get out there and you I know you've, you've given it a crack but there seems like the difference between intensity at times. When you're intense, the results generally kind of show. Yeah, well, yeah, it's probably a direct um, uh, parallel from that. Um, physicality is always going to be an important part of any test match, whether no, no matter who you're playing. Um, but it's also being accurate around it as well. So, um, you know, the way the rugby's play these days, you, you need all 15 men on the team, but you want to be as physical as possible. And you know, with physicality, you want to be accurate, and that will give you the best, the best chance of uh, being in the spot you want to be in, if that makes sense. So, for us, we've, we've got plenty to work on. Um, we're under no illusions that we're the finished product. Um, but one thing I'll, I'll uh, admit to is, you know, we want to be better than last week. Did you want to do anything online, or did you want to just? Yeah, I'll yeah, just go. Perfect. Thanks, um, man. Obviously. As one of the senior members of this side, what are you saying to the guys, given it's you know, a bit of a new attack, there's been a bit of change, transition, a few new guys coming in, and especially you know, given some of the injuries, what's been your message to some of the young forwards? Well, we haven't really trained yet. We've been just dissecting what's happened so far, but for me, it's just about staying at it. Um, we, we truly believe in the direction we're going under the coaches we've got. Um, and as I said at the start, like as a playing group, we just didn't perform to our best of ability for that game plan. Um, you know, we have a true belief in what we're doing, uh, and it's up to us as players to go out there and 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 be accurate in doing it. And, and for us, it's just about going back to work, um, training hard, and making sure we prepare well because um, it's not going to get any easier. And Carl, this one for you as well. It's a lot easier said than done when you're facing that. Um, yeah, like what Slips has been saying, uh, I couldn't agree more. It's just all about accuracy. Um, you know, you can be as big as you want, but if you're accurate with what you're doing, um, that's going to make up for the physicality, um, especially at breakdown time. So, yeah, for us moving forward, it's just accuracy. Um, that's it.